All right, hey Cancer. So I am doing a singles read for you guys. And the only way you're gonna know this is yours is if you resonate with the energy I pull, that's your energy. So if you don't resonate with that, you guys are gonna wanna check your moon rising and Venus signs. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you'll stick around and subscribe. So I'm gonna pull just a message Two, I can three. Look at that. From the universe, your angels, maybe you guys need to hear this. Um, you are on your way to meeting your true love. And it says, try to be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud. And then we have, um, <clears throat> you are moving on to a steady and reliable path. So I just wanted to pull a little oracle card for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna pull your energy first. For Cancer. All right. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> you're coming out as the Empress, um, just right out the gate and the Two of Coins. All right, so you're really just um, embracing your divine feminine this is divine feminine energy um, if you guys um, want to check out um, the community tab on my page I posted a bonus cancer read for singles um, and I just wrote the post um, it's a beautiful read and it has to do with the past life um, with you and the new person that's coming in um, so I just thought I would put that out there for you guys um, but with the Empress energy right here, you're just fully embracing um, your life, your work, your stability, um, your humbleness. Um, this is balance. Um, this is just, this is like the ultimate. This is all four queens in one. This is high confidence, high self-esteem. You know your worth, you know your value. We have the two of coins coming out and I just feel like this is a representation of everything that you have going on. You might juggle a lot. You might have a lot of things to do, but I feel like you, um, em you embrace it. I feel like the two of coins energy is, um, all, the, all everything that's coming to you this is usually juggling energy and if you're juggling anything I just feel like it's everything um, in life but with the Empress energy coming out you are it's not bothering you you're you have the reins on your life and you are the one in control of everything right now so that's who I'm talking to for um, this read you guys so the person that's coming towards you Wow. Wow. Okay, so the person coming towards you, this is, this is um, a brand new. You have the world and the wheel card. So this is telling me right here that the person coming towards you, their energy is going to show you with the world none other than you've ever seen before. So this person's really going to, um, they're, they're going to give you a, a, a they're going to give you a run for your money when it comes to, um, everything out with the old and with the new and with the will card coming out this is a faded relationship so i feel like this energy right here um it's gonna it's just gonna take you um it's 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 gonna take you by surprise okay um with the wheel of fortune coming out this is a faded union guided by the universe by god all right so if you've been doing a lot of self-work and healing um just know that uh, the universe is hearing you god is hearing you um, everything is working out in your favor um so as far as this person's energy we have the page of swords coming out so um i do feel this person could um be younger or even just kind of have um like a light-hearted approach when it comes to life okay um somebody who's pretty easy going um i almost feel like you can sense this person's energy um just right around you um and with this card coming out i feel that this might be a confirmation read or it's going to happen any day i did put a 30 to 60 day intention on this single spread um, but with the page of swords this is gemini libra aquarius energy right here um, this is new this is new beginnings and this is successful news where you might have been single for a long time this person's coming in so you're you're 
Um, Road to Love um, may have been just a little bit delayed, but it's coming in full force by way of this person that's entering your life. And this is like something new. I'm so excited for you. So I'm going to pull to see what the energy of the relationship is or will be. Wow. <laughs> so it's just... It's kind of cool because um, almost every read I feel like I've done, we've had a palace card come out and that is, um, I've only done the, the air signs so far and now I'm on to the water signs, but every single read has had a palace card come out in it. So you're coming out with the palace of swords. So I feel the energy of this relationship is going to be that of um, the utmost honesty, loyalty, communication, where you might've had um, hangups with relationships in the past because of failure to communicate. This is the highest form of this card. So communication, trust, loyalty, compassion, um, anything and everything to do with um, thoughts, words, actions. All right. This is going to be ultimate like fulfillment when it comes to communication. So the fact this card's coming out tells me that you and this person um, quite possibly have never experienced that true open communication, the open connection, the openness with each, with your partners in the past. And that's coming out right here um, with the, we have the nine of wands, all right and the nine of coins so you could be seeing nine 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 a lot and that's i'm um, telling you that this this uh, phase in your life is about to end comfort confirmed by that world card okay but look at this right here the um, context of this relationship the energy where you guys have been wounded in the past where you guys haven't been able to be vulnerable you guys are going to come through as um, a means to heal that you know those it's not even that you need healing but this is like a very trusting a very loving energy so i feel with the palace of swords backed by this nine of wands says you guys are going to be able to speak to to each other and and just anything and everything that you have on your chest anything from the past and it's not going to be held against each other um, and then we have the nine of coins um, and this is um, where you may have just been a um, a wish um, to somebody after they lost you this right here is saying no nah, this is coming through as ultimate abundance ultimate wishes all right coming through in this connection with the nine of coins also to closing the cycle on that nine of coins energy which is also a single person's energy um, but because it's mutual energy what i feel with the nine of, of coins is you are self-sufficient this person is self-sufficient and put it together and then boom you can just build um, and keep building and continuing to build um, and move forward so i'm going to pull to see a little bit more info on this person see what they're like wow yeah this is gonna lead um, this is gonna lead to commitment all right so what they're like yeah second uh, confirmation on the page of swords this person's got to be right here um, this is endings and I feel like everything bad in your life is about to transform and um, be greater. So um, if you guys um, go back and read my community page, I, I did mention manifesting and manifesting your life, how you envision it. And with the person that's coming through, this is divine masculine energy right here. So this is, this is a person that you're going to want to be with. This is a soulmate right here. Um, and you are creating your reality um, with this person. They are going to be a counterpart in that facet where... Um, you're coming out as the Empress, Divine Feminine. Magician is Divine Masculine. Um, the Empress and the Emperor come after the Magician and the Priestess get pregnant. Um, but for what this this person, I do feel like they're right here in your energy. I can't help but say that. But they've been through a lot too, just like you have. But they've learned to put that stuff in the past. Okay, this you embody um, and embrace. You know your the aspects of feminine, masculine. This person's truly going to be an equal. Um, and I do feel like this person is going to be, um, uh, they're going to be spiritual. The Hierophant card comes out. This is a spiritual teacher, a guru, a leader. Um, but also this could just be that this person is spiritual. This also, um, for me is a depiction of the traditional union, all right, marriage and coming together in that, um, facet. So I feel this is going to be the person that you are with. 
um, challenges. Long term, very, very long term. I'm just gonna pull that card because that's another confirmation. I've seen it flip. The challenges I feel is if you are in this energy where you juggle a lot or they juggle a lot when it comes to work and just working, 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 because I feel like the juggle card is coming out in regards to work for this read, um, it's it's time to rest, okay? It's it's like, I almost feel like there's, I we all know that there's a, a, a time to play and a time to work, and I almost feel like um, you guys might put a lot more work, all right, and it's knowing when to take breaks and quit, right? Um, we, we're gonna run ourselves into the ground if we never take a break, and I feel like that could just be a hiccup with you guys, but it's not actually a super bad thing. Um, because you guys want to, um, you want to build your future. You want to build your dreams and move forward together. But it's like almost, I, I just feel there's a lot of high, um, energy here and it's knowing when to take those breaks too. Um, juggling a lot, never taking a break. Um, not, not enjoying life, kids, grandkids, vacations, happiness. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling. The favorable. Favorable aspects, yeah. <clears throat> the favorable aspects. Look at that. Oh, wow, you guys. Sun and the moon. The sun's coming out on the challenge and the moon is coming out on the favorable. So what this is telling me, um, confirmed, all right, you guys are going to be in a very, very long-term committed relationship, probably till the end of time. Uh, that's what I feel. Um, so no more, no more challenges, no more abandonment, no more people leaving you, no more people treating you like crap, no secrets, no miscommunication, no miscommunication, no secrets. That palace of swords is everything. You guys aren't going to have any of that. Your advice. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be the lovers. Commitment. King of coins. And the full card coming through. So this is something brand new, you guys. This brand new person coming in has got their shit together. They're, they're representing the King of Pentacles energy. This is somebody who's very, very solid, very stable, very successful, and they're coming to you with commitment, all right? So that's just uh, your advice from your angels. I'm gonna pull some initials, and this is gonna be the person that's coming towards you, their initials. Don't, they don't have to be. Um, but I just wanted to do a little bonus. One more. All right, so we have K, R, Z, L, J, N and E. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I do hope you guys will comment and let me know if you're experiencing this or rather come back. Um, let me know if you guys like the video, please like it, share it. Thank you guys.